GF wants to stay friends with the guy who assaulted her. TW saw. She was attending a friend's birthday party and got drunk and stayed there. At some point she woke up to see that she was naked and he was trying to have sex with her. She tried to say no but he said it's okay and had sex with her. She left as soon as it was morning and informed me immediately. I have been supporting her as much as I can but I told her maybe she needs a professional counselor. But she doesn't want to talk to one. I didn't press the issue and have tried to be there for her. Now she is saying he is a good guy who was just under the influence and that's why he did what he did. She wants to meet him for lunch to clear the air. I told her I am very uncomfortable with this but she is insisting. I am sorry to say this here but this is making me look at everything with a new set of eyes. I am confused if it was really saw or just regret after cheating? I feel really bad for thinking this but her actions leave me no choice here. Need some advice quick. If she isn't willing to put a distance between them and hold him accountable for what he did then. This isn't a relationship I could be part of. For your own sake you should probably end it. No one on Reddit knows what really happened in that room. Only that guy and your GF know. Being sexually assaulted can mess you up though. I agree with you, Mysterious Bridge 61 that you could use professional help with interpreting your GF's behavior. Don't make assumptions about what happened. Let your GF take the lead. Think hard if you want to accompany her to her meeting with the friend. If she lets you. And it is okay to walk away from her if you're not okay with her behavior. Don't set yourself on fire to keep your GF warm. Please call a sexual abuse hotline and ask them to help you understand. Rape really messes people up and loved ones say that they don't think the victim is acting correctly. This really is a legit way that her brain is trying to minimize it because being raped by someone you know is so traumatizing. Please educate yourself about rape victims so you don't unintentionally make the trauma worse. I wouldn't automatically assume that she is lying. Just because she wants to meet up with the guy. Victims of sexual assault can want to meet with the person who assaulted them. Especially if it was someone they know. She is probably searching for answers. For ways to feel better about what happened. It's easier on her to think he cares about her and it was a genuine mistake. Than to admit that her friend raped her. It took me years to realize that I'd been raped. I didn't want to be a victim. To be someone that anyone would treat like that. Does she want you to go to the lunch or is it just for the two of them? This is exactly the kind of stuff I did after being assaulted. You don't want to believe it really happened to you so you'll minimize and avoid dealing with it. However you can. She needs treatment and your support. It may well be rape. Or have been. And her head may be messed up. But mate I am a woman who has helped countless friends through abuse. Through rape. Maybe I'm just tired. But I just can't with this. Theoretically I get it, but there comes a point where you just say, Baby, I believe you. I believe this man violated you. I believe there are reasons I am lucky to not understand why you are trying to reconcile what happened in this way. But if you choose, and you do have choices here, there are pressures and forces I do not understand. But even in all that there are choices. If you choose to reconcile with the man who did this to you, I cannot support you in this. Or abide by you as you do this. Wish you peace and healing. But respectfully. I gotta be out. I was raped. In a very similar situation to what your girlfriend was. I didn't call it rape for a long time. It was, well I was drunk and it just happened. Not multiple witnesses said I was unconscious and had no idea what was going on. The situation was so bad that a group of strangers attempted to intervene and were rebuffed by his buddies. I also had the urge to confront my attacker, I don't know why exactly. 
But I wanted acknowledgement from him that I'd been completely wasted and what he did was wrong. I wanted to know why did he do that to me? Maybe I thought it would bring me closure. It didn't. He acted like he had no idea. As if. He did say he was sorry. Whatever that was worth. Still, even if it is unlikely to bring any closure. Your girlfriend has a right to want to confront her attacker. Even though I was in denial. Wouldn't use the word, rape. And really tried to play the confrontation off as just clearing the air. I was a mess afterwards and bald. So she may need support at that time. But I doubt she would want you right there. Perhaps offer to drive her? And you can wait in the car to give her privacy. But you are right there if she needs you. You can say you will just chill and read a book or whatever. So no rush. I know that probably sounds weird to you. But that would feel comforting to me, but it's up to your girlfriend if she wants that. She may not. I think if you trust your girlfriend, then you trust her that this is what happened. I get feeling insecure about this lunch. But I think if she decides to pursue a relationship with this guy, it will be obvious. You know about him now. So the lunch is the least of your worries. Let her do what she needs to do. Encourage her to seek counseling. I really should have. It's not uncommon for victims to blame themselves. It's also not uncommon for victims to try and justify the actions of the perpetrator when that person is someone they have known for a long time. It's up to you how you handle it. And it's okay if you can't. Instead of trying to tell her what she can't, shouldn't do it may be more beneficial to help her. Define what she is okay with. They can meet in public but no drinking and number one on one private time. You can't stop her from meeting him. You can't make her press charges or even report it. You can't. Even say it is either saw or regret. You can't say she can't go drinking with other people. You can't. Even really say you do or do not trust her. All you can say is whether you will tolerate this reckless behavior in your romantic partner. You can ask her what if that guy had a girlfriend? How would she feel? How would your girlfriend feel if you had done this with another woman? This is why I no longer drink when I'm out, unless my so is with me. And why I have only SOs who do the same. Being drunk is no excuse. And if he's done it to her, he's done it to others. He needs to be confronted for his actions. And if his victims want prosecuted. As for advice, I wouldn't know. Update me. When I had a similar experience forced on me by a friend of mine, I honestly did basically the same thing your GF is doing. I didn't want to admit to myself the extent of what happened. I didn't want to tell our mutual friends and rock the boat. I didn't want my parents to know or people to judge me for getting myself into that situation. People deal with sexual assault differently to protect themselves, some people tell absolutely everyone and get the perpetrator in trouble while some would rather pretend it never happened and might stay friends with their perp for years afterwards. Like me, your girlfriend will deal with this in her own way. It may take her a long time to really come to terms with what she went through and stop defending the person who did it. The best thing you can do is support her decisions. Be understanding and patient if she shows signs of trauma, even if it's during sex with you, and gently encourage her to get help, therapist, parent, police, whatever she needs, without being too pushy. If she shuts down your attempts to get help, it doesn't mean she lied or she wanted it to have happened. Ignoring it and pretending she's fine is literally a defense mechanism she's using to protect herself. This comic strip I think drives home some of the points people are making in this thread. Sometimes you do shocking things to minimize trauma. HTTPS medium.com slash the dash nib slash trigger dash warning dash breakfast dash C6 CDEC 070E6 Nobody but her and him know what really happened in that room. 
However, that doesn't mean you can't have an opinion and boundary as her boyfriend for how things between them can be afterward. You absolutely have the right to tell her you want her to go get help and that if she won't get help you'll have to walk away for your own mental health sake. That you as the average person are not equipped to handle her damage after the assault with the professionalism and expertise she needs. Tell her this is now also an issue of boundaries. That you don't want her to see this man anymore regardless of her excuses and that if she breaks this boundary you will leave. She's either lying or traumatized. And regardless of the situation you have every right to get out of there and look after yourself. Rather than damage your own mental health worrying about her when she refuses to go get help. Her wanting to see him again is indeed fishy, you're not in the wrong for feeling that way. Are you sure that she was actually raped and didn't just tell you that? With the way things are now in the world. For example, the Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard trial. It's common these days for women to lie to avoid responsibility and justify their actions. Her staying friends with an abuser is off. Update me. I get your feeling. Try to convince her not to go and use reasoning as to she might get hurt again. If she still would like to go with her to lunch no matter what. You can't control how you feel. But you can control how you act. Be civil. If she declines with you asking to go with. Ask for the reasoning. It is hard for abuse survivors to accept and or understand how they feel or what to do. She still thinks her assaulter is how she used to know him. She doesn't want to accept that that's how he truly is. She's in denial. I would ask to accompany your girlfriend to the lunch chat. See if she would be okay with that. I don't think she should be alone with this guy again. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.